welcome back to my channel so if you're new i'm ness um if you want to consider subscribing i have a channel my channel synapses in the description box but also you can go ahead and check that out if you want and without further ado let's get straight into the video so i know you're probably seeing the title and you're just like oh, if you're already a subscriber of mine i don't normally post these things but of recent if you know me i have really been into asian shows on netflix right now i'm trying to learn mandarin and okay so i'm just give you a little backstory there was on netflix one day and all of a sudden this korean show got popped up in my recommended and i was like now watch the korean show but then i was like all right let me at least watch the trailer and read the synopsis and i did and i checked it out and i actually ended up really liking it it's now one of my favorites and that was the beginning of me watching a whole m bunch of um korean and chinese shows if you look on my netflix list right now and my whole netflix page recommended are romantic chinese dramas and korean shows asian shows all of that it's like filled on my netflix right now so i thought i'll recommend some of my favorites to you in this video so i'm just recommending five of my favorites so if you have any more that i did not that i'm not going to mention in the video then you can go ahead and comment it below because i'm kind of on like a binge mission with these okay so let me know okay recommendation number one so i'm watching a show right now called one spring night it's korean this one's korean and okay so this is what i'm watching currently and let me just say the tea in this show is hot but okay let me just give it i'm gonna give us a backstory for all the shows so you can get a little idea i'm not gonna spill too much you know tea because you need to actually go and watch it for yourself and check it out for yourself but um so one spring night okay basically like i said i'm currently watching it so i'm kind of still fresh in the series that i don't you know i'm like at episode four <laughs> and they're like 16 episodes it's actually new it's a 2019 series um and i love it to say the, to say the least okay so basically um oh by the way each episode is like an hour long over an hour long so i'm pretty much watching a movie i feel like i'm watching a movie and one thing i like about like these korean and chinese shows is that each episode is a continuation of the other like a direct continuation so like if episode one ends with a girl looking at a tree episode two is going to pick up from her looking at the tree and it's like a ongoing everlasting story so i really love that about it anyways so yeah so one spring night is basically okay so it's i mean all of these that i'm going to tell you about are pretty much like romance but like honestly even though the story might sound cliche i actually really admire um the build up like they developed really nicely and i love the production i love that acting in um these korean and chinese shows i mean i'm used to the regular typical hollywood you know american shows and movies and whatever so it's really nice to be able to like, step away from that and watch some um korean and chinese shows i'm i really admire like their shows and stuff like that and i highly recommend it you know i'm actually learning now about like their culture and it's really interesting to just kind of step away and experience and explore like there's a whole world of entertainment waiting for you so just don't stick to what you're used to and what you're comfortable with definitely go ahead and explore all kind of different cultures okay number two so this one is called my first first love and i'm gonna try and keep it going quickly because this video is gonna be long so my first first love um so basically it's like a college age group students kind of thing and basically they're moving together and they're pretty much just figuring out life with each other love as the title suggests uh they're trying to make it for themselves you know in life career wise they're trying to you know figure out navigate the you know that world and um yeah they're just basically experiencing life together hardships good times bad times it's really interesting um if you're in that kind of age group as well like you know college age group or whatever and you're at the point where you're like figuring out life so like it's a series to watch it's relatable and it's really fun this one number three I really love this one it's called love 020 right and I just finished this one right this was the one I finished right before I'm watching one spring night I just finished love 020 and I it was so good okay this one is Chinese and let me just say like watching these shows like English is obviously my native language right and I don't I know no Korean or Mandarin whatsoever so I obviously use subtitles so I'm basically reading the entire time but whatever 
I've learned a few words though. I'm I'm getting there. Girl, the main star in this one, her name is called her name is called well. Her name is called Wei Wei. And basically this show is based around a video. I throw you off. Through the night, it's based around this game, right? And they're also college age group students in college navigating life, whatever. And um basically long story short, Wei Wei, the girl in the series. She's married to this guy in the game, so she's a part of an in-game marriage. And long story short, she meets him in real life. Anyways, they cross paths and a lot of different things happen as a result of that. It's really interesting. The storyline develops nicely. Definitely add this one to your list. Okay, number four. We're winding down. So number four, um, this one's called, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called either Meter Garden. I call it Meter Garden, if you know how to pronounce it good for you i guess i don't know so it's called mesa garden meteor garden i don't care it's chinese and it was really good i'm not going to lie it was very good um it's actually apparently a remake of the same show that happened that was made like years ago and it's like the modernized version of it so it was really interesting so college age group students and you know life happens basically and you're you're it takes you through the different areas of their lives love uh school family drama all that so it's, it's really interesting um, and it, though like to be honest when i read like reviews on the show and stuff all the persons who watched it actually also watched the original and so they were kind of comparing the both the two well the both they were comparing the two and all the persons were comparing what the ending of meter garden like it being unrealistic and rushed and whatever so i kind of didn't watch the ending um i stopped it like a few episodes short because it wasn't like I just kind of like along the way I was just like I'm done with this <laughs> but to be honest though the whole idea of the show and the plot honestly it was a very well developed story it captivated me the whole way through number five drum roll please well intended though so again romance story this one's Chinese I think is it yeah the plot for this one is quite interesting. So basically, long story short, this dude, right, he liked this girl. And he's this top-notch dude in, like, the city. Or the island. Or the island. He's a top-notch dude, businessman, everybody know him, popular, whatever. And he found interest in this girl. And here it is. He teamed up with some people, because he have links. He teamed up with some people, um, at, like, doctors and stuff. Some it's like, like you have to watch it to actually get the story because I'm not, I'm not going to explain it properly but basically long story short he fooled her through a doctor in thinking that she was diagnosed with leukemia and that he was her only source of help and um, that was his way of getting her to come to him and lean on him for help and that whole process I guess was his plan to like woo her and I mean it worked but it was very like who does that who tricks somebody into thinking that they're diagnosed with some like incurable wait is leukemia incurable i don't know with some disease just because you want to like woo them into falling in love with you that makes no like but this one was really interesting and of course you have subplots so it's not just that like so many other things are going on in the show and it was very interesting i think i uh and yeah i guess that's it so thank you so much for watching this video um comment down below if you have any other recommendations of some korean and chinese shows in particular that um are really good comment them down below also comment down below your opinion like, do you think i should learn korean or mandarin i can learn both enough because i want to be a polyglot but which should i learn first which one do you think is more useful to learn I mean, I'm kind of leaning more towards Mandarin and I've actually started a little bit, but Korean is also intriguing. There are parts of the culture that intrigue me and there are parts of the culture where I'm just like, <gasps> like the food that they eat, what the hell do they eat in China and Korea? I don't like their food. The only thing that they eat that I would eat is their noodles. Everything else I would not eat it. They have some real, they have a really weird diet, but yeah, anyways, I'm from Jamaica and I'm used to Jamaican food, so anything outside that's pretty much weird to me. Again, check my description for my channel synopsis so you can know what I post. And I'll see you in my next, you'll see me in my next video.